In this video, we're gonna talk about how we organize our finances so that we stay in the green. There's a lot of different ways, but the main way that we do it is with a handy dandy spreadsheet. This was born by Gregory. He was the OG spreadsheet owner and uh, it was actually his idea and his craftsmanship that put together our first initial spreadsheet. Basically what we track on this is everything from, you know, our expenses and this is categorized by date. Of course, we want to know what we spent and when, um, the item that we spent it on. Um, and then we have actually two columns. Um, so there's a credit one and a debit one. The credit is obviously the thing that we spend. It goes out. And then the debit is the income income. Yeah. yeah. Income. That's great way to say it. So we break this all down. Um, and we put this in we try to do it daily um but we actually have more of a monthly thing that i think we would like to talk about right so whenever we get finances come in through emails or invoices or when we do a subscription for a software that we need um we go to the spreadsheet yep every day we check our credit card statements and all our emails and in the debit column most of the things that are there are our client invoices yeah so getting paid yep. getting, getting paid by the clients once a week um it's always nice to see those invoices oh, come in oh invoices paid and the only other debit i think we got was when we got some bonuses from amazon influencers oh yeah so, that could be another video in itself <laughs> yeah so i think there's that and then all of the credit column is all of our expenses so our major expenses is rewarding our team for doing a great work so shout out to the growwise team <clears throat> our vas from the philippines uh, greece and egypt we have recently been running ads for our business so um, we have ad spend on there so that's something that's on the credit column. And then a lot of spending is from software. So we have things like paying for Loom, Canva, Square, QuickBooks, Klaviyo, um, our Google Suites. And then another credit that we like to bookkeep, which isn't a current expense, but kind of like we save for this expense, which is taxes because everyone should pay for their taxes. Yep, nothing uh, more inevitable than death and taxes, as they say. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the monthly breakdown. We also do it annually as well. So after the course of the year, um, we are paying for our domain multiple actually um we unfortunately had to pay for squarespace we paid for the annual subscription so we did have to do that we pay for our hosting um so that we can host our website somewhere and then we pay for elementor and astra with basically our website builders so those are kind of like the annual recurring expenses that come up and then yeah. we've set those aside as well in the spreadsheet so and since black friday's coming up we have it on our list to kind of yes. shop around for these annual subscriptions since they're kind of so expensive so we have that on our list yeah. but yeah uh, another big tool or system we have when we deal with finances is QuickBooks. Mm. Uh, we play around or we use the QuickBooks self-employed. Um, so it's been pretty um, convenient, but I think something that we're having a hard time navigating is we have three or four different credit cards and like two business checking accounts. And so splitting that up between this business and another business, it's like kind of disorganized, but you know, as anything, there's a transition period. So I think after a few months, we'll get the hang of it and it'll be simpler. Yeah. Uh, we do have this as a list or an item that we re review every Saturday as part of our mastermind so we do go through quickbooks and disposition all of our expenses whether they're business or personal and something that kayla has been doing a great job of is every time we eat for our business meetings uh she takes pictures of our receipts because our accountant basically told us um you know it's enough to just have a folder of receipts we don't necessarily have to put it onto the quickbooks just keep it for seven years and if everyone if anyone ever audits us we just bring up our folder of receipts and show them that we have that transaction yeah i've got a album in my phone that's just like nothing but receipts so if anyone went through my phone all they would see are pictures of receipts at this point. Um, so QuickBooks is a large part of it. Uh, this could be a, a separate video in and of itself. And same with what I'm about to say right now, which is credit cards. Um, <coughs> I would actually like to credit mainly Gregory for doing a lot of the work behind, you know, figuring out what credit card was for what, which credit card we should get now versus later. And, you know, basically setting that up. So I guess if you wanted to talk about a little bit, like what made you choose our certain cards and like, why, yeah, why did we have them basically? Yeah. So mostly we look at things like annual fee. So the lower, the better. And we're really um, excited about welcome bonuses. So as much as we can, if we hit our welcome bonus spend, we try to get another credit card, assuming that we know that we're going to be spending the minimum spend over the, that time period. So for this this one, um, Chase had the Chase Un Business Inc. Unlimited. Oh no, Preferred, sorry, because we already had the Inc. Yes. Unlimited. Yeah. And the Preferred at the time had the highest welcome bonus. And by the way, we're running ads now and we noticed that the Inc. Preferred gives you 3x on ad 
cards. Yeah, which is a huge, huge win. Like we said, we could go even more into credit cards, but the down and dirty is essentially we decided to have a separate credit card for the business that we put business expenses on. So, but basically we could parse out our personal and our business stuff. Um, but something else that we also done to help with that is do it using a business checking account. So we do all of our banking through Chase. Um, they've been able to set it up pretty easily so that we can, you know, deposit things, um, release things, things like that. So I would say right now we're liking Chase. Maybe we won't in the future. Maybe we will. We'll see. Um, but one of the main thing that comes out of that Chase account is our payroll. So um, because we work with contractors outside of the US, um, generally we have a little bit of a different invoicing system. So we actually use a mixture of Payoneer and Upwork. And that makes it really convenient for us to basically pay for our team and make sure that, you know, they get a paycheck at the end of the month or the end of the week. So yeah. yeah. And then in terms of us getting paid, we said earlier, we use Square, mostly Square, and we send out our invoice. Kayla is the master of Square. She sets up all, she sets up all of our um, subscription plans mm -hmm. and being with all the inputting the like service fees and sending them out to the clients so that, you know, we get paid basically. Yeah really important um, and then another huge aspect of finances is um regular consultations um so with our accountant shout out to mark sherman real one yeah really really great accountant um he has some really great podcasts out there but he's just always very very knowledgeable and he's also a real estate investor so it's kind of like two birds one stone but yeah we basically go to mark every other month yeah um you know he charges us what is it like i think it's 200 dollars for 30 minutes but Ooh, yeah. well worth the money so yeah get a good accountant everyone yes definitely he's made a huge change in the way that we think and the way that we look our fans at our finances he's actually the one that offered up quickbooks too oh, he was like right. maybe you should guys should look at quickbooks and we we're like oh yeah we probably should so we ended up going with quickbooks because of him so yeah that is basically how we manage our finances please comment down below if there's any sort of financial tricks tips things that we should maybe be doing or something that you're doing that maybe we should know about right and don't forget we upload weekly so don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell notification Ding. and follow us on our journey sounds good see peace. you next week peace all right weekly recap oh how did the week go you asked me last time so i'll ask you this yeah. time yeah so, oh thank you how did your week go this week well yesterday was rough yeah yeah i woke up with a migraine and usually when i get a migraine it's i'm out for most of the day mm -hmm. but you carried on and thank you for powering through our <laughs> our meetings our team meetings oh, and man. client meetings um, yeah, I, I think it was cool this week. We started out with date night. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw Ka. Ka. Ka, -ka. <laughs> My first Cirque du Soleil show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was it worth it for you? Did you mm. like it? I, I'm in a new phase of my life, so uh -huh. I just like, be, I love being home. Yeah. And just the thought of ineff inefficiencies of like, you have to get ready and like drive to the venue and park mm -hmm. and then walk through the casino. The show was awesome, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. If I could just really teleport cool. to the theater and watch it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it was good. But I do like that we're, like, for forcing ourselves to have date nights and stuff. Yeah, so try good. something new. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Huh. Uh, how about you? How did the week go for you? You know, it wasn't too bad. Um, I feel like we had some definite wins this week. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to say them because they're still in development. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. But that's right. Yeah. it was definitely, like, we've had worse weeks. Yeah. And I would say this was probably one of the busier weeks that we've mm -hmm. had in terms of just, like, meetings and, like, making sure everything gets done. But I think overall, we're trending in the right direction. I mean, we talked a lot about, like, our pivot this right. week. That's right. So I think that was pretty interesting. And, uh, yeah, he's looking at his uh, yeah. the clockify right now. This is okay. the thing we use to track time. Yeah, I think a, a win because we log we we log our hours every week, and last week we didn't do we weren't as consistent. But I think today, assuming we do more work today, we'll hit hopefully our goal of yeah. working at least seven hours of dedicated work. Yeah, so like that's deep per day per day. Yeah, which is really cool because I think even in nine to fives you don't really work seven hours. There's no. a lot of like talking to coworkers and walking around and stuff like that. So yeah, totally. I'm, if we make seven today, I'll be very proud of us. Yeah. I'm already proud of us, actually. So. <laughs> we got through it. Yeah. So, cool. yeah. Um, I yeah, think good. that's it for this week. Hustle every week. Let me do our exits. Oh, handshake. Yeah. Boom. Boom.